phone drops. They happen like this. You know that had to hurt, right? And they also happen like this guy over here. He's just throwing it out at them. And then the last person as well. She's dropping her phone too. You know, I know it's kind of funny to look at these pictures, but seriously, besides your house and your car, your phone is your most expensive item that you own that you use every single day. A phone case is the cheapest form of insurance you can buy. So here's what you're looking for in a case. Let's look at it. A raised edge around the front to protect the front screen. You want a raised lid around the camera in the back as well, and it should be tight fitting with padding all around the edges. Consumer Reports test phone cases. Yes, there's a phone in this tumbler right here to simulate a drop. There's a list of Consumer Reports research, and you're going to want to look for a durability score on these cases out of about a four or a five. We drop the phone 50 times. We check the phone for any scratches or damage, and then we drop it another 50 times. Where there are plenty of knockoffs out there, so you need to know who you're buying it from. You need to be wary of those online reviews because I got to tell you, many of them don't tell you how the case withstands the test of time. And finally, look for a warranty. For instance, Otterbox and Spec, they both offer really good options. Well, Two Wants to Know has linked you to the phone case testing so you can see it for yourself. Look for this web story in the Two Wants to Know section.